On Monday, the Minister for the Armed Forces from the Ministry of Defence responding to an urgent question said, and I'm quoting directly from the record, certain members of the CF333 and ATF444 task forces will not be eligible for relocation under Arup. Now, the Minister knows very well, as do I, that the triples were recruited by the UK, they were led by the UK, they were paid by the UK. By design, they served shoulder to shoulder alongside us. So we owe them a debt of gratitude, and this is a matter of honour. So I wonder if the Minister shares my concern that based on what the Minister for the Armed Forces said on Monday, the Arab criteria doesn't guarantee qualification for the triples. He will share my concern, I know, that many have already been rejected. Some, undoubtedly, already are dead. What more can be done to support the triples? Um, Madam Deputy yes, Speaker, I pay tribute to my friend, and, and indeed I know that he commanded one of these units in a similar time to when I was in Afghanistan. He has a deep, intimate knowledge of how these were set up, paid for, and funded. It's, it's for uh, uh, um, the Minister of Defence and, uh, and the uh, Minister for the Armed Forces uh, to speak on what he said on Monday. I'm very clear that that uh, criteria. Um, you know, we, we have a duty to these uh, individuals. Uh, whilst technically the Minister for the Armed Forces was right in that you know, they uh, were led and they had direct uh, command chains into the Afghan government, you know, there is going to be no attempt whatsoever from this government to um, close down avenues for those who served in 333 and 444, uh, who um, I know that he, he personally trained and fought alongside. Um, whilst I recognise the concern, um, he will know that I, I, will not, uh, I will not oversee a scheme that does not do its duty to those, particularly those in the 333 and 444 task forces um, who he and I served alongside in Afghanistan.